good morning my dear students how are you all i hope you all are fine and studying well at home dear students in today's tutorial we are going to discuss about biodegradable and non biodegradable waste biodegradable waste means the waste that can be decomposed by microorganisms usually these type of waste include fruits fruit peels vegetable peels animal waste plant waste these type of waste is be known as biodegradable that can be converted into a simpler compounds by decomposition that waste produces compost and the process of forming this compost is be known as compositing this biodegradable waste includes peels of fruits vegetables paper old cloth pieces of wood fallen leaves rotten fruits dead plants animal excreta dead and decaying animals all these type of waste are known as biodegradable waste now we are going to discuss about non biodegradable waste this waste include all the plastic uh, glass metal etc which cannot be rotten by or decomposed by bacteria or fungi so these type of uh, material is be known as non biodegradable that cannot be decomposed by microorganism the accumulation of this these type of waste is uh, usually pollute the environment or our surrounding if this waste get be accumulated in our surrounding that is also be cause pollution so these non biodegradable waste includes chemical waste detergents paints varnishes and the most problematic polythene bags metal metallic compounds glass mercury lead tin etc all these are be the example of non biodegradable waste now next we are going to discuss about domestic and community waste domestic means that can be generated by the household activities like during cooking during bathing washing these type of waste is be known as domestic waste it includes waste food fruits vegetables their peels paper plastic rubber glass pieces garden litter etc the solid waste from school offices shops streets hospitals playground and from the public garden etc is be known as the community waste usually these domestic and community waste are collectively called municipal solid waste why will call this waste as a municipal solid waste because these waste these solid waste in urban areas is be managed by municipal authority so that these type of waste is usually be known as solid waste or the municipal solid waste community waste includes garbage and rubbish garbage usually means that contains or having a organic part of the waste garbage is the organic part of the waste it gets decomposed in a few days which includes fruits uh, peels of fruits vegetables 
their pieces, leftover food and garden litter. If we are talking about the rubbish, rubbish includes paper, plastic, polythene bags, glass pieces, rubber, clothes, etc. This community waste is be divided into two parts means we can get be divided as garbage and rubbish. Garbage is be the organic waste and rubbish is includes paper, plastic, polythene, bag, etc. Thank you and have a nice day all.